So, I mean, uh, I'm lucky to be here. I mean, this is my ejection. And there I go. I go off the end of the bow right there, and uh, I realize that there's something wrong because the aircraft doesn't want to fly. It's wallowy and mushy, and it's uh, the control inputs I'm putting in aren't, aren't, aren't acting, are uh, reacting the way I want them to. People were tell screaming to me, climb, 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 and uh, the aircraft's not climbing. Um, they're screaming eject, 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 and we get out, uh, me and my navigator get out sideways. You, you did eject sideways. It yeah. looks like you that skipped on the water like and then... When I initially got the word to eject, I had to hear it three times. I was so busy flying the aircraft that I wasn't interested in ejecting at the time. When I pulled the handle, I almost didn't pull it, I mean, because I knew it was too late. By the time I pulled the handle, the, the horizon was at 90 degrees, and I, I knew we were out of the envelope, so I, I didn't think I was going to survive, and I thought I was going to go neck first, and I didn't want to feel that. And, and to think... To, to ride the seat like that, it's a pretty violent ride. I was an inch shorter when they pulled me out of the water, a full inch. So um, it, was, it was blind luck. It wasn't my time. I'm up in double digits with friends of mine that have passed. Most of the jets we fly are two-seaters. When you lose a friend, you lose them two at a time because either they both make it or they don't. You know, it, 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 it doesn't get any easier how many, how many times. I mean, the hardest part for me was losing my best friend. I mean, he, he, he meant a lot to me, and I, it, it was hard to, to, to believe that he was gone. And I had seen him a half an hour earlier before he went flying. I, had, I saw him just before he briefed, said something to him in passing, something insignificant, you know. Had I, had I known, I wish I could have said something. I, I don't know. It's like you, you, you go back and say, you want, you, want, you want that time back. You want him back. It's not going to happen, and you just hope that you learn from that. You see, now you're a source of information on a, an ejection situation, because you've gone through it and survived, and now you can instruct other people like me that have never been in that situation and, and help me understand what it's like. You know, if I ever face that situation, I may think about some of the things you say. That's, that's the purpose of safety stand-downs. That's the purpose of, uh, of us watching these, these films.